How to install a bath. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a fitted bath. You'll need a drill with driver and drill bits, an adjustable wrench, an adjustable spanner, a short Phillips screwdriver, a long and a medium spirit level, silicon sealant and gun, a pencil, a tape measure, and a cloth. Start by screwing the leg frame into the pre-drilled holes in the base of the bath. Make sure you use the correct length screws provided to avoid piercing the bottom. Attach the legs by threading a nut and a washer onto the leg, putting it through the hole in the leg frame and threading on another washer and nut underneath. Fit all four legs at a similar height and put the bath in place. Make sure you check the height of your front panel against the bath to see if the legs need to be adjusted up or down. Adjust the height of the legs if necessary by either tightening or loosening the nuts. Check the bath is level along both sides using the spirit level. You can make small adjustments using an adjustable spanner on the bottom nut on the leg. Once the bath is at the correct height and level, before you mark out where the supports will go, fully tighten all nuts and recheck the levels. Then mark on the floor where the holes for the legs will go. Take the bath out of position. Start to mark out where the supports will go. Mark a line on the wall where the underside of the bath will fit. This will be used to measure where the support battens need drilling. If you're unsure about what's behind the wall, Use a pipe and stud detector to check for any pipes or cabling before you start drilling. Using the appropriate drill bit, drill the holes in the floor for the bath legs. Measure two millimeters down from your mark on the underside of the bath and extend the line along both walls using a spirit level. This will allow the bath to flex when in use. When fixing anything onto a wall, ensure the wall is strong enough and suitable to carry the load. Reinforce if necessary. Drill holes and screw in the support battens on both walls. Flush with the pencil lines, checking them with the spirit level. Fit the bath weight and overflow according to instructions supplied. Depending on the type of tap you've chosen, you'll need to cut either one or two holes into the top end of the bath with the correct sized hole cutter for the thread of the tap. We're installing a deck mounted bath filler, so we have to cut two holes. Now, put the bath in place. Put PTFE tape around the threads and then connect the other end of the flexi pipes to the hot and cold water supply. And connect the trap to the waste pipe using slip nuts and tighten by hand. Screw the legs of the bath into the floor. Screw the spring clips for the top of the bath panels into the black plastic blocks under the rim of the bath and fit the base blocks onto the floor. Now gently push the front panel so that the top edge of the bath panel fits into the clips. Insert the lip of the end panel behind the edge of the front panel and push into the clips on the bath. Wipe down the edges of the bath to remove any dust or dirt and apply a line of silicon sealant to the join between the bath and the wall. Smooth it into the gap with a finger. Silicon the joins between the bath panels and the wall. Wipe the floor around the edges of the bath and seal along the bottom of the panels. Smooth with a wet finger and wipe any excess with a damp cloth. Job done.